Well, yeah, if you're, unless you've been living under a rock, Larry, yeah. I'm sure you heard that J-Lo got engaged over the weekend. Oh, so and Affleck for a second time. Yeah. The two planned to marry 20 years ago, but they broke up before they could make it down the aisle. Yeah. So what about the rest of us? How successful is love the second time around? And what should we consider before taking a stroll down memory lane? Relationship expert Love McPherson joins us. Love, good to see you. Hi, Love. Always good to see you all. So, <laughs> you know, you know I love J-Lo. And I'm happy she's happy. But I thought the whole reason her and Ben broke up the first time around, Larry, was because there was too much publicity. And here they are doing all this publicly again. What are your thoughts about J-Lo? You know, my thoughts about J-Lo and everybody who is trying to reunite with somebody is that you've got to go back and ask yourself some very pertinent questions in order to go back. And, well, you know, with J-Lo, there has, she has had a lot of stuff happen in between that we need to, con she needs to consider, and so has been. So some of the questions, I want to tell you some of the questions that yeah. she needs to be asking and uh, everybody. Right, so, you know, Robin suggested, you want to ask, why did you break up with your ex in the first place? She suggested it was publicity, but you got you to know that that's with any, it had to be more than that. Yeah, you know, if you look at the timelines, you'll find that Ben was actually suffering through his uh, mental health issues of alcoholism during that time. And I would imagine that added more stress because that was how he coped with probably the publicity mm. and things like that. And so I think that that may have had some impact on him. And J-Lo is, it's, uh, appears to be kind of a runner. So, you know, she uh, may not necessarily uh, impact. So when you have to ask, uh, for everybody else, when they say, why did I break up in the first place? Don't allow that to be a clouded moment. Make sure that you stop and remember. You need to feel what you felt when you broke up. You need to feel the emotions that were attached to that breakup. And then you have to ask yourself, once you feel it, once you remember, then you have to ask yourself some more questions. Or as Paul Conrad likes to say, you got to feel it to heal it. Yes. Am oh, I yeah, right? You do. You sure Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Uh, and so the next thing you have to do is ask yourself, did I take some time to heal? Because relationships can be painful. And so if you don't stop and, and heal from those relationships, what will happen is that you will continue going from relationship to relationship, and you will just be like a hoarder, an emotional hoarder, taking everything mm. with you. And yeah. so that is kind of the pattern of Jennifer, and make sure you're not, you don't make it your pattern as well. Uh, what does it mean to be an overlapper? You're saying that's a question we should ask. What does that mean? An overlapper is a person who actually d d uh, d realizes, wow, this relationship is going to end. So what they do is they pay at the end of their relationship by actually starting a relationship with someone else. Mm. If you look at Jennifer's patterns, you'll see some of hers were overlapping. They would, She would start in with a new person before she actually could... Uh, 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 ended with the other. If And so an overlapper uses bridges. The person that they hook up with, you know, we call them rebounds, but they also call them bridges. So a bridge is a person where you use to actually get you to the other side of that relationship. And so overlappers, they overlap their relationship. And if, it's, if she wasn't overlapping, you'll see she was doing monkey bar. Uh, relationships where she would just swing from oh. relationships. <laughs> <laughs> so we have heard Jen, J Lo is a runner, she's an overlapper, and she uses the monkey bars. Yeah. All Absolutely. Right. And then, you know, uh, but, but you know, we, we don't want to just say, uh, talk about J Lo. We have to talk about Ben because yeah. Ben. Is, is, you know what, when he was married to Jennifer Garner, he actually, uh, his sobriety, he started, you know, doing better. But then at the end of it, he, you know, kind of blamed her and then he retracted. But this is the thing. He, she took him back and forth uh, to, to rehab so many times. And, and people, when he first got in with Jennifer Garner, thought that she was like his savior. So I don't want Ben to use J-Lo as a savior to his sobriety because his last bout you know in rehab that we know about was in like 2018 and 2019 and things like that so you you, you want to make sure that why you're hooking up is the right reason and if this history is going to repeat itself and if the stress of relationships or life will bring you right back into the same place and then j-lo will run again from it let me throw so, one more let me throw one more thing at you that that you, you i thought maybe you'd bring up i i got together with an 
old, old, old girlfriend many, many years later, and I'm thinking back, like, well, she was really cool, she was really great. Got back together with, just to meet her, and like in a minute, I realized, oh yeah, now I realize oh, why you were a pain in the ass. <laughs> what was it, so, Larry? So sometimes I think we romanticize the past. Yeah. And then, it, and then reality do. slaps you in the face. We really do, but you know what? The traumas actually stay planted in our bodies. So, Larry, as soon as you experience her again, those traumas showed up and said, hey, remember this, Larry? Uh, You're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. In the end, J-Lo and Ben are both gazillionaires, and they'll be fine. They, they will be fine, and they will probably keep going. J-Lo has been engaged, I think, six times, <laughs> and, and this will be her third yeah. time she is married. That's a red flag. A great re uh, Diddy and Drake and uh -huh. all kind of people that she's been uh, dating. So she'll co they will continue, and they will continue to make money. I'm not sure if fine is the, is the, is the term yeah. unless they stop and heal. Well, at least they're keeping it private this time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can check Check out uh, all the stuff Love does. There's how you find her. It's do the work dot today. What's that? Is that, that is where our programs are. And oh, okay. I want you to yeah, if you want to uh, get uh, some help for your ex, you go to my dating gym and learn how to do that. Gotcha. Right. Thanks, Love. Thank you.